Hey everybody, I wanted to do a video today on true love. And I've studied quantum physics and psychology my entire adult life along with the science of life from some of the most brilliant minds on the planet. And I, that I now have the privilege to teach them now. And you know, this is how we're curing autoimmune disorder, thyroid related issues, oral bleeding in the gums. Another lady doesn't have to have wrist surgery now. We are the first major cure to lipedema. The list goes on, and we've been doing this all with the natural, natural power of the subconscious mind that we all have. Of course, they don't teach you this in school. The one family that owns the schools, you know, and the pharmaceutical companies, Dark Pharma, and the collegiate schools, you, what you're doing is you're paying to go to school to memorize as many issues and problems that there's one family implanted in the subconscious minds of people. And no, this is not conspiracy theories, guys. This is the same power that we're using to cure all of the diseases I just told you about. And not only that, I mean, when you, by the end of this video, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. That's, that's my point. And there's a reason, too, why over and over and over again, if you watch the nightly news, their health commercials, every single night, the same health commercials come on. And this over and over and over again, this repetition, this repetition that goes straight into your subconscious mind, because your subconscious mind cannot reject any idea. Our conscious mind, aka thinking, and I don't have Fred the monkey, our friend here today, you know, who cannot think. Fred is an animal. Fred was not created in the creator's highest image. Fred was created as, an, as a monkey. And I love animals, obviously. You can see Snickers and Zan in there. I'm not condescending them. I'm saying that we have the privilege and the honor to think like human beings. You know, I have another example here. This is Boo Boo the Bear. Boo Boo the Bear cannot think. The wheels in his head cannot operate. He does not have free thinking or free will. So if I tell Boo Boo, Simon says, touch your toes, Boo Boo's going to look at me like, wait a moment. Like, what does that mean? Snickers. Simon says, touch your toes. Okay, if I tell you Simon says touch your toes, you're going to touch your toes. If I say touch your hair, a lot of people are just going to be like this without even thinking. But a lot of people are going to be like, wait a moment. He said he did not say Simon says. Okay, you get my point. So through repetition, though, these commercials play the same health problems over and over and over again to where eventually people who don't understand what I'm about to teach you guys and understand how the subconscious mind works, Guess what? Over time, their subconscious mind builds the beliefs of all of these nightly news, commercials, news. And, guys, you can Google. You can Google who owns all of the news, all Republican and Democratic news stations, who owns all of the media from Naruto, ESPN, to Discovery. One family. And this one family legally... Legally, this one family has had their name attached to neo-Nazi business trades while World War II was occurring. The same family appears again legally on the Malaysian aircraft patents that other people on that aircraft names were attached to too, legally, publicly. And this one criminal family also had their name attached to the Bush campaign very deeply into endorsing the Bush campaign. I wonder why. And the list goes on, but you get the point. This video is to focus on the good, the loving side of things, guys, and we must all understand something, and this is more basic. This is something we all most likely understand by now. Everything starts with your mind, right? Your thoughts create emotion, or I like to call energy and vibration. Your thoughts, everything in life operates on a frequency. There is an operating frequency of everything in life. The physical world is an illusion. I am right now inside your mind or talking in your mind, unless if you are consciously thinking, like I just said we all can do, then you have the ability to block out and actually decide what you're going to accept or reject. And when I say accept, I mean believe. What you're going to believe or not believe. What you're going to accept or reject. Right? Same thing. And while I'm talking to you, it's very important, like I said, everything starts with your thinking mind, your conscious mind, not your subconscious, but your conscious mind. We all have one, unless if you're an alien from outer space, well, welcome to planet Earth, God help you. Well, actually, no, by the end of this video, welcome to planet Earth, we are prospering. 
the thoughts that you think are going to dictate the frequency and vibration you're operating in. When you stare at the back of somebody's head without even touching them, what happens? When I am driving, I can stare at a car about 20, 30 feet in front of me, and they always look back. When you die, your body still lets off a heat signature or vibration and frequency. When I think of somebody, even though I haven't talked to them in years, sometimes I don't want to talk to them, they text me the next day. Because everything is energy. You know, during the space landing, the moon mission, they would talk to each other just through their thoughts and frequencies. I don't want to get all technical quantum physics with you, but that was what they were doing on a practical level. There are people around the world that communicate with each other without even ever talking to each other. No, they're not psychics or superhumans. They're not X-Men. We all have these gifts. The issue is people don't understand. And there's... Now that... Now, like I said, now that we... I, I, I believe that we all understand that, right? That's very basic psychology, very basic self-help or success 101 nowadays, right? Your thoughts decide what vibration you're in. You don't have to go around reacting like, a, like Fred, the monkey, our friend, right? Or George. You can instead actually think and decide what vibration you're going to be in. Now, obviously, first, you have to truly understand and love yourself on the inside, like a human being, and let go of all these dogmatic masks, you know, Christian, Muslim, LDS, goth, punk, gamer. You let go of all these dogma masks, and you actually really, truly understand and love yourself from within, then yes, you discover one voice, your own voice. And that scares a lot of people, but when you discover and love yourself from within, you have one voice, and you now have the courage to honor and respect the, the one voice that you are. And then you, you are able to then connect to the vibration of love. Because there are two mindsets, there are two psychological forms of thinking that create two vibrations in love. There is no lukewarm. There is no lukewarm. And by that, I mean this. There is ignorance. Ignorance. The root of the problem. The root of every problem in life. Doubt, worry, and fear. I don't use those words, ever. And the reason is, the root of those three is ignorance. Mental ignorance. They don't understand. Albert Einstein said it perfectly. Any fool can know. Any fool can know something. Any fool can just repeat what he heard without even fact-checking them or going to a third party. When I worked with 60, 70, 80-year-olds in stem cell seminars, they drilled the shit out of the doctors I was working with. Why? They're not fools, right? They, they know when to double-check, fact-check, third-party things. Guys, we all have this. We all have this. And this is the mind. This is how it works. And when you don't understand something, ignorance, right? Another example, there is hard coding on Facebook, right? We all just see the images and pictures that people upload on Facebook. You know, sometimes we have to unfollow people sometimes. Somehow, like, 40-something people found my personal, personal Facebook account. That's kind of creepy. I don't know how people do that. I have, like, 10 accounts to where people don't find me. And then there's the hard coding of Facebook. All of these computer languages computer coding the you know all that fancy wording and lines and symbols that we've seen most likely before the computer coding that's called hard coding and i understand understand how facebook's advertising works paypal's advert payments work uh youtube uh, algorithms algorithms hard coding works where it's going to happen a hundred percent of the time not ninety percent of the time not i think so or my opinion no, 100% of the time, this is what's going to happen. When people ask me, what car should I buy? I want to get your opinion. I say, no, 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 no. Go find an expert mechanic that actually could build a car. He understands to where he could actually build a car. Then you'll get an honest answer in what car you should buy. Obviously, I mean, based on what you need it for. If you're going, you need a truck or a four-door, he'll tell you. Because he'll be up to date in this exact moment based on him actually being able to build a car himself and tell you an honest answer. He understands the hard coding. So when you don't understand the hard coding of something, anything in life, it creates these bad vibrations I just described. 
when you understand something, because everything, like I said, starts in your mind, it creates the vibration of love, the vibration of miracles, the vibration of abundance and prosperity that we all deserve. Not just me. You are no better than me. I am no better than you. We are all created in the Creator's highest image. Unfortunately, religions that work alongside this one criminal family don't ever teach people what I'm about to teach you. Don't ever teach people how the higher faculties or spiritual mind works that we all have. Imagination, intuition, perception, reason, intuition. All of these spiritual, the spiritual mind that will never be able, and no robot or AI will ever be able to mimic the imagination, intuition, these spiritual, the spiritual mind that we have. I call it the creative mind. We all have these. This is what allows us to create the subconscious mind that I already said we're using to cure diseases all over the world. It's very, very important to understand how this all works, guys. You're either going to be used in somebody else's dream or you're going to create your own dream and billions of people are awakening billions of people are awakening and there is the vibration of love mental understanding we now understand that 528 hertz vibrates the love frequency the miracle frequency the creation frequency vibrates through all of life the plants the trees, the stars, and the rainbows vibrate on 532 hertz. It is brilliant. Scientists, a recent discovery, these top, top scientists went out to the ocean and they put a very, a very, very complex device into oil spilled water that was vibrating properly, was correctly vibrating the, the vibration of love. The very next day, sea life returned to the water. And when the skeptics showed up, <laughs> look at these, look at these scammers, look at these hoax. <laughs> they were like, holy shit, excuse my language. When they tested the parts per a million, it was clear. This is the pa I no, no wonder why, unless if you're a f foolish Fred the monkey, I just told you all of life vibrates on this love frequency go figures they it fixed oil spilled water when you look at a tree when you look at a tree what is a tree always doing it's growing 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 right a flower is always growing all of life is always growing and evolving how i just told you the vibration of love the vibration of miracles and creation and a billion people a billion people, you will never hear this in their marketing that they use, but the facts are this. You can go on YouTube right now and fact check me, guys. Fact check me all day long. I have, I'm doing this for free. I've studied this my entire life. We're curing these diseases, guys. Okay, don't be Fred the monkey. Okay, when you speak the truth, you offend a lot of people that are living a lie, and that's fine with me. I would rather help 9 out of 10 people when they, when they hear the truth than that one person with a big ego or whatever that just wants to keep living a lie. That's, that's your decision. I'm not forcing you to change. And a billion people, a billion people, a billion people over the last four years have listened to the love frequency or the vibration of creation, and people are crying, diseases are being cured all over the world. Why? You are the highest form of life there is. Period. I just told you of the gifts you have in your creative mind, right? And your the thinking mind and how the mind works. You are the highest form of life. You are a 400 trillion to 1 miracle. 400 trillion to 1 miracle. You are. You were born vibrating on the vibration of miracles and love. The all of what life vibrates on. Do you want to know something very curious? Steve Jobs went to India on a spiritual spiritual retreat, an awakening retreat in India. He comes back to America and starts Apple. 
Steve Jobs begs Mark Zuckerberg to go. Mark Zuckerberg says, I don't have time for hippie bullshit. I'm sorry, Steve Jobs. I respect you and I respect what you're doing, but I don't have time. Steve Jobs begs Mark Zuckerberg some more. Mark Zuckerberg finally says, okay, man, seriously, stop bothering me. You know, I'm open-minded. I hang out with people all around the world from different demographics. You know, I'm Mark Zuckerberg, right? So he goes. And this is, this is when Facebook was just kind of, you know, kind of breaking out. You know, most 60-year-olds were like, ah, that's just new age, new age stuff. Mark Zuckerberg goes, he comes back, and Facebook goes bonkers. What was the slogan of this spiritual retreat? All is one. All is one. I threw in the word is for translation purposes, but direct hard translation from Hindi is all one. We're all one. Well, what does that mean, say Luke? I just told you guys, it's beautiful. The everything, all of life vibrates on the vibration of love. When you yourself awaken and tr discover your true self, your true self, you are able to connect to the vibration of true love. You are alive. Depression and all of these other issues just go out the door. You now want to give to humanity, selflessly give. Because you are fulfilled and secure on the inside now. You love yourself truly. You let go of these dogma masks and you can give. And when you do this, you, you see the truth. You walk in the truth. You see all of these other religions and people just doing what society tells them to. Or the technical term is nice people. Not kind people. I'm not bashing on kind people. But nice. And it's just you just start to see all of this. And I'm very grateful that billions of people are awakening more and more every year to where now we get to see so many other, the beauty inside of people, the 400 trillion to one unique superpowers, the talents, the gifts that people have. Like the Olympic gold medalist said, there are 55,000 people that could be doing what I do, but better, you get to start seeing people that actually truly love themselves. 100% on the inside, you get to see people that understand how the creative mind works, right? The creative mind that separates us from the animals, what it means to be created in the creator's highest image, how we can reprogram after 21 days of repetition. This is what, this is how I'm, how I'm curing autoimmune disorder, thyroid issues, you know, cancer, everything around the world through these the, 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 the subconscious mind, go, walk, go watch my video on how subliminal messages work. Long story short, there is computer coding inside of all of life that 528 hertz vibrates through. When Aristotle would hold up an acorn seed in front of his class, he didn't want them to say, what, when he asked, asked them this, what do I have in my hand class? They would say an acorn seed. He, did, he wanted them to, by the end of his teachings, not say an acorn seed. He wanted them to say an acorn tree because written within the operations and systems, right, the vibrational pattern inside of the acorn seed, it was going to turn into an acorn tree, no matter what. Through the vibration of love, it was gonna grow. And this vibrate, these frequencies of love, these higher frequencies are what very powerful people like Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, and billionaires all around the world listen to and meditate to. Just like the one billion people, we now have access to this power, all of us. We all have access to the same power that one criminal family I told you about has been using to control us. To brainwash the masses. Go watch my video on exposing Christianity and religion. It's disgusting. And no wonder why bought off U.S. politicians publicly, publicly walk alongside the Catholic Church that let a billion children starve to death last year while they, while they built their empires, their castles. I went to Sedona, Arizona, and I saw a multi-million dollar mansion while a billion people starved to death. Guys, don't be a fool. Don't be a foolish Fred the monkey. Don't be used. Don't be used. What the nature, the nature, the unadulterated nature 
And I say it with courage and I say it with strength because I am disgusted by how adulterated, adulterated religion and man has turned the vibration of love to where they can now control the religions, religious souls. We'll stop, we'll, we'll go with that. I'm not condescending anybody. The Bible itself, before it was adulterated, even refers to sheeps, uses the analogy sheep. It's very important, guys, to understand something. Why the prophet Jesus, the prophet Jesus, not religious propaganda Jesus, but the unadulterated version of the prophet Jesus, there's a reason why he said to love love all of life just like you do a random stranger as you do yourself above all other commandments. Don't fear, A.K. we already told you, now you understand, is ignorance. Don't misunderstand all of life or the original creator. Love. Because that's why I'm here. That's why, guys, that's why Jesus said I'm here. I am the voice of love. You can now understand. Understand. Right? What did I say understanding was? Mentally, everything starts in your mind. It's love. This is why Jesus is saying, guys, let go of the Old Testament. I am here now, now, now. And I am saying, because you now can hear I am now the voice of unadulterated love. Love thy God. <laughs> love all of life. That's the proper translation, right? The unadulterated translation. Love all of life where the vibration of love, or aka the creator, the vibration of the creator or the one, flows through. Love all of life as you do a completely random stranger, aka your neighbor. People take these verses so literally. Your neighbor, aka stranger, right? Love all of life as you do a stranger, as you do yourself. Which means you have to understand your true self. And I have already explained to you why, right? And I don't want to start arguing with you. You argue with a fool, you become a fool. I'm going to end that video. I'm going to stop, stop there. But you get my point, guys. This is what true love is. And true love is a mutual relationship. There is no power struggle. It is an equality. That's what true love is. There's nobody is superior or trying to have power over another person. The more you try to have power over humanity, the more you're going to suffer and struggle. The vibration of love, for all of you who understand, the law of attraction is all that there is. We, I've already explained to you how all we have is energy. The physical world is an illusion. Everything is operating on a frequency. All of the plants and the trees, even the stars and the rainbows, I just told you, vibrates on the love frequencies. We now know this. You and I are operating on a frequency, right? This is why I say, I can tell you where heaven is. <laughs> I laugh because it's just ridiculous how we now have, like, the Stone Age people, and we now have people that are actually operating on the same awareness and mindset as the people that this one criminal family that has controlled control the opposite of love right it's really creepy really creepy but control humanity and the masses for so long but you and i i can tell you where heaven is right now it's all around us it's all around us the galaxy the stars that i the stars in the galaxy i just told you about it's here on earth it's everywhere and when you die when i physically die i'm just it's just like changing clothes. I can't wait to die because I can then connect, connect to all of life. All of the souls and humanity, the trees, the plants, the animals that I, you know, was able and had very grateful to have helped and guide, you know, with my own unique superpowers. And I could feel their prosperity now and I can feel their abundance. I can feel all of the goodness, all of my spiritual legacy. And it will be the most beautiful feeling. And I, I, I don't even know what to say to those people that have been destroying humanity, destroying life, going on their religious crusades, using people, controlling people to feel better about their insecurity and their ego. 
I don't know what to say. Good luck because you're going to feel all of that burning, all of those suffering souls at once. And woo, God help you. Oh my God. Oof. That's going to feel like hell. And I, guys, this is how energy works. This is how, this is all there is. And the vibration of love, it, it cannot just cure oil spilled water in one day. The vibration of love that flows through all of life is exactly what has kept this planet evolving and pushing forward despite the ice age, despite black death, despite the holocaust, life, we now have more people awakened than ever before. We are now more aware consciously than ever before. Am I saying we are more powerful than the one, the original creator? And I don't have the time anymore, but you could watch my video on the subconscious mind, the missing piece to space and time. Because when you are in space where there's no gravity holding you down, you can now manifest and you can now manifest at will. You could create entire planets with your thoughts. Because our thoughts create the neural pathways in our brain. Our thoughts create the physical body. This is how I'm curing all of these diseases. Because your subconscious mind has 50,000 thoughts a day. All of these thoughts are what dictate the vibration you're in. These thoughts create cells, genes can evolve. You create physical flesh. So therefore, the original creator, what I'm saying, the original creator, through thinking and the vibration of love, that I say infinite life, or the unadulterated version would be the Holy Spirit that f flows through all of life, right? 528 hertz, infinite life. The Creator, through thinking and directing this vibration, created Earth. And when you reconnect to the vibration of love, you can do anything. Absolutely anything. We could create, we could create more planets. We are going to create more planets because when you're in space, well, there's no gravity. Your imagination, intuition, perception, will, right? The, spirit, the spiritual mind I told you about earlier, the spiritual mind is more maximized, more optimized. And we are going to create entire planets. Are we ever going to become more powerful than God or the Creator? Excuse me. I, don't, I have to be very careful, guys, psychologically. And I'm telling you this. You have to be very careful with these vocabulary or terms. Because the moment man, men, start to give names to the unadulterated version of love, the moment men and man now control the voice of a dead prophet, they now have tremendous power, tremendous power that they now possess. Which is why I am just merely preaching the unadulterated version. And I am giving selflessly. I'm not asking you to donate to my nonprofit. I'm not asking you to tithe. No, no, we will never, never go there. Very dangerous, very dangerous to give any man that power, any criminal family that operates with several other criminal families, that power that they are now losing. But guys, the law of attraction, this, this, is, this is exactly why when you operate on the love frequencies, right, you reprogram your subconscious mind and you reconnect to your divinity your divinity or the vibration of love and creation that all of life flows on, you can now, oh my God, you, you, you just attract good people. You'd be amazed. Now it's a lot more than 1%. You would not, I'm not saying all of the 1%, obviously, but a lot of the 1%, you would be amazed how many other people are living on heaven, on earth. A lot. It's... I don't get to just travel wherever I want to exotic beaches and go on vacations and all while I cure diseases around the world. There are a lot of people living in heaven on earth. And it's exactly this. You know, they understand this. They understand all of this. Understand. Not ignorance. I'm like, I wonder, like, it's kind of weird. or I don't understand why these religious songs only sing about all of the emotions that stimulate from ignorance, me mental ignorance. I wonder why. And now we all now we all understand why. Dude, I fear no man. I fear nothing in life. I can go out on a stage right now. I already did hundreds and hundreds in a foreign country and give a speech. 
confidently. I could stand in front of billions, and if it's through the vibration of love and selflessness, I would not even fucking shake a finger, excuse my language. You know, we're curing diseases all around the world. There's nothing we cannot do when we're riding our algorithms with the vibration of love. I love all of you as human beings, as humanity. I love every single one of you good people. I appreciate all of you. And I respect all of you. And this is why I make videos like these. I am about to start traveling again. I will not be able to make videos like this any longer. However, I will say that I love every single one of you. Life always grows back stronger. It's, the, it's one of the other 11 universal laws. There is not just the law of attraction. There are 12 universal laws that explain exactly the hard coding of life and the universe. The unadulterated version. This is why religions get confused. They're like, is Albert Einstein a Christian? You know, he kind of sounds like a Muslim now. No, no, no. Albert Einstein studied the unadulterated operations of nature. And there are 12, 11 more universal laws. And we understand that whatever, whenever, whatever falls, whenever there's a bad and difficult time, the rainbows are about to come. It's how life works. And the wise man, the wise men and the wise woman during hard times, they're not, they're not worried. They're, they're, they're growing as many, they're planting as many seeds as they can. They're, they're, they're laying out as much sod and seed as possible. Financial, I, I mean, I'm making investments all over the place down to the very last penny I have because I understand the rainbows are coming and when those rainbows come, the wise man and the wise woman are going to prosper like we all deserve to. You all deserve to. Be wise, guys. Embrace the vibration of love. Don't be a fool. Don't destroy humanity out of self selfishness out of ego, egotistic belief. Embrace the truth, guys. Embrace the truth of, of love, of life, your creative mind that we all have. I love you all, and I appreciate you all. Like I said, this is one of the last videos I'm going to be able to make. Uh, we went over by three seconds. I was trying to get right there on 32. We're going to end this on 3207.